Turbo Conquering Mega Eagle! Look at that folks, it's barbecue weather! So, because it's not going to stay sunny for more than a couple of days, this is barbecue season in England we're talking about, um, I want to make a super quick, cheap and easy meat smoker. Yeah. So I've got a two drawer filing cabinet, uh, 1300 watt element brand new old stock out of an oven or grill or whatever that was and a budget 399 microcomputer temperature controller with a 10 amp relay which should be more than capable of dealing with a 1300, 1300 watt element. Let's get cracking. Okay, so you can see those little tabs that I just made up and self-drilled into the into the bottom of the cabinet. Uh, they do two jobs. They are for supporting the element, which will get a bit floppy when it's hot. And also they've got the flats on top, so I can stick a tray of wood shavings on top of the whole element. Okay, I know putting an exhaust on an electric smoker is going to cause some controversy, yeah? I'm sorry if I offend anyone, but uh, it's been my experience when smoking off my barbecue that, um, you know, depending on the wood and that, 
you can you can it is possible to over smoke your food and if there's not the airflow going over it as long as you've got as long as you've got a flow of smoke you're fine but if um if there's insufficient flow of smoke you end up with a uh, like eating creosote in it like like chewing on an old fence post so uh at least I have the option now to uh to increase the flow of smoke and get fresh smoke in there if I should so want to all right <laughs> So it's all wired up in there, um, but as you can see, there's no output at the minute. This is the the room, the, the temperature of the probe, and this is the temperature I want to achieve. <laughs> so it should be on right now because that's higher than that. But I think that's blue, and so this is actually in refrigeration mode. Yeah. So if you look at this, if I put that temperature below the current 22 degrees 20 degrees output comes on and my oven element will be switched on right now um, so I need to switch it between modes but the that was quite literally the only paperwork I got with this thing because um, I ordered it from China always a big mistake isn't it always it seems a nice idea at the time but it's always a big mistake when you actually come to use the stuff um, so I've got to have a little play around with it and see if I can figure out how to how to change it to heat mode rather than refrigerant mode. Bear with me folks. Well that was nice and easy. I just press the set button and the PV button at the same time and it switches between Oh Oh it's not doing it now. Oh whatever. <laughs> I can't remember what I did. But it's working anyway. There we go. And then it should should cut out when we get to 85. I'm just going to leave it on and let it burn out for a bit. Well, not really burn out, but 
if there's any paint that's going to cook off, cook off, I want it to happen now before I put any meat in there, you know. dark by the time my jerky had finished um, finished smoking. Uh, worked really nicely, it's really really tasty jerky, nice uh, nice nice tough jerky. Yeah. Um, you can't get you can't get hard jerky in the uh, in the shops in England, you know, you just get the, the really soft light, still still quite moist stuff. Um, a whole jar full of it which is pretty cool. Um, smells epic. Um, I need to cut it thinner though, you know, I've got to get better with the knife I suppose. But towards the end of that, um, that, that cutting that, that joint up, it was uh, coming out nice and thin but I wasn't, I wasn't very careful to begin with. But you know, I'll get better at that, it'll, it'll be alright. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this smoker build. Um, uh, yeah, take it easy folks, bye bye. Right.